everybody and welcome to my 8th episode in XL Weekly Hacks. Uh, this week we've got three new hacks, we've got Control and Tilde, uh, Alt and Enter and uh, some useful things you can do to edit your comments. Uh, so let's jump straight in and get started with our first hack of the week. Right, so my first hack of the week is a very quick and simple one, uh, but it's really useful, uh, and it's control and tilde. So if I have a spreadsheet here, and I've got some data in a column, I've then got some columns that have some formulas in, uh, and I've got a separate bit over here which just has a formula in. Uh, if I press control and tilde, it's probably the easiest way of showing you what this does. And what it's done is it's switched everything uh, that's visible to what's actually in the cells rather than what they're calculated to. So you see all my formulas are showing, uh, all my, um, so the dates here are showing as what their value is instead of how their format is. So it just removes any number formatting uh, and doesn't calculate the formulas uh, and that just means that you're able to see exactly where are. So it's very useful for if you think you've got an error uh, or if you just want to see where the formulas are. Also, if you click on one of the formulas, you'll see as I'm doing here, you can actually see where the formulas are referencing uh, with the blue boxes. Uh, and you can click and drag these around and they will change the formula to reference different things. Uh, it will color code them. So here now I've got two different cell references and one of them's blue and one of them's red. Uh, and now if I click and drag the red one around, it's only going to change that reference, not the blue reference. Um, and that is it really for our first hack of the week. Uh, hopefully it's useful. And uh, just remember it's control and tilde. Right guys, so our second hack of the week is Alt and Enter. Um, this is a very specific uh, shortcut. Uh, and quite a few people will know it already because uh, it's very useful uh, but I want to put it in just because if you don't know it it can sometimes be a little bit crippling in what you can do uh, so what all and allows you to do is actually type on more than one line in a Excel cell so here I have a comments box and I can be typing stuff in uh, and then if I want to go to a new line and I press enter it just drops down to the next cell uh, and a lot of people get around this by chucking in a load of white space or um, things like that. But there's actually a really easy way of getting around this, uh, and that is just by pressing Alt and Enter. Uh, and what this will do is it will drop you down onto the next line. Uh, if you click on the little drop down over here, you'll actually see that you can see this in the formula bar at the top as well. And then we can type stuff on the next line, Alt and Enter, next line, Enter, uh, and then you see that all our different lines of text are showing on a different line in our comments box. So it's a really tidy, really useful way of creating those uh, lines in your boxes. Uh, and it's used a lot if you're typing in comments. I mean, and like I said, if you don't know how to do it, it can be really annoying and frustrating. So that, hopefully that one's useful to a lot of people. Uh, and that's it for our second hack of the week. Right, so our super hack of the week is crazy comments, and they are crazy, but not probably not as crazy as I'm selling them off to be, uh, but they are pretty cool. So, you can see here, I've just got a few different examples of comments, and uh, by comments I mean the little red boxes that when you, uh, like, little red corners, when you go over them, it comes up with a comment. Now, if I go over the other examples, you'll see that they're actually all a little bit kind of personalised and very different to what you'd normally expect from a comment. Normally, they're just kind of square, yellow, uh, and with just some text in. Uh, so you can actually, and my ones maybe look a little bit stupid, but if you if you put them in kind of personalised to your company or whatever, then they actually start to look really professional. So in order to do this. Uh, there's a few different things we want to do. The first thing you want to do is you need to add in an extra bar up here. Uh, so if you go to the top where you've got your undo and save and just right click up here uh, on the actual undo bit over here, go to customize quick access toolbar. Uh, and this gives you a whole host of different commands you can put in. Uh, the one we're looking for is the change shape one. So if we go to uh, 
all commands uh, and then if we just go to jump down to C and we find the change shape we're just going to add this in after our redo and press OK and this gives us this change shape uh, command uh, option up here uh, so now if we go into our comments so right click and edit comment uh, and if we just, instead of being in the text editing bit, just select the comment the same way you would to kind of resize it and things like that. Uh, and then we click the change shape button up here. And then we can select any shape we want. Uh, so here I'm going to put a smiley face. And uh, you can still have text on it. I'm going to remove the text just by deleting it. And then that gives us a comment that is just a smiley face. Uh, so that could be useful if you just want to put a smiley face on things you think are good. Uh, and then if we go even further than this, if we select our shape, right click and go to format command and then colours and lines, uh, then we're able to change what is in that smiley face. So if we go to here and fill effects, uh, then we can either give it kind of a gradient, uh, multiple colours, the same way you do with all your others, I'm not going to go through all the different ways of colouring things in. Uh, you can put textures on it, so you can have a fish fossil, kind of paper bag, uh, all of these different textures. You can have patterns, which aren't really very clear with that colour, so we could put in black and orange, or black and yellow would probably be more appropriate for a shape like this. Uh, and you can also put pictures in as well, so press OK, press OK, and there you have it. We have a crazy smiley face going on. Um, and just play around with it, see what you can do. Uh, you, you see I've got one where I've just made it a lightning strike, one with a speech bubble, uh, and then I've got another one with a speech bubble, and it's got a picture of me uh, donning the Your Programmer Network t-shirt, a little bit of a product drop there, to, if you want that go onto the website. It's got a cool little robot on it. Um, <laughs> there, uh, and yeah, so that's your crazy comments hack. And that's it for this week. Uh, if you've got your own hacks, then please submit them to me. I like, I love hearing them. Um, and I'll catch you next week. <laughs>